Today we'll be looking at home charging for the Mustang Mach-E and the three different options you have when you get your car home. We're also going to explain how long each of those options will take to fully charge the car. Next up, we'll take a quick look at seven popular EV chargers on the market today, test each one out with the Mustang Mach-E and see if there's any compatibility issues. Now, it's rare, but this happens on occasion when the new electric vehicle gets introduced to the market. There'll be one unit that for some reason has a communication error and doesn't communicate with the car, so it won't charge. Uh, in that case, the company gets together with Ford, they fix it, and then sooner or later, the charger will work. But it's very inconvenient if you already have a charger, you get your new car home and it doesn't work. So we'll test all those out, including the Tesla wall connector, which is up here to my right and you can actually see from those green lights that it's charging a Mustang Mach-E right now. We'll explain how you do that because the Tesla wall connector uses a different connector than what the Mustang needs to charge the car. So we'll explain how you do that. We're then gonna take a close look at the mobile charger that comes with the Mustang Mach-E. We're gonna compare it to the mobile charger that Tesla gives to their customers and then we're going to really answer the question do you need anything more than the mobile connector that comes with the Mustang Mach-E do you need to buy one of these or can you survive just fine with the mobile connector we'll explain that but first please click the subscribe button tap that notification bell so you don't miss any future electric vehicle or electric vehicle charging videos here at State of Charge so let's start off with just how fast your Ford Mustang Mach-E will charge, depending on what type of charging you're doing. Now, when we talk about electric vehicle charging, we typically talk about two different kinds of charging. Home charging, which can be at 120 volts or 240 volts. That's level one and level two, respectively. And then there's DC fast charging. We're not really gonna focus on DC fast charging here right now. We're gonna do a separate video on that at some point in the future. Um, but just for comparison, at a DC fast charger, the Ford Mustang Mach-E can accept up to 150 kilowatts. Now that, at that high rate of speed, you can replenish the battery at about seven miles of range per minute. Now I stress minute because once we start talking about level one and level two charging, we're gonna talk about how many miles per hour the vehicle gets recharged at. Just goes to show you how fast DC fast charge is. And Ford did a good job with the Mustang Mach-E allowing it to reach a peak of 150 kilowatts. That's pretty high uh, in comparison to most electric vehicles on the market today. It's not the highest, it's not the fastest charging electric vehicle out there. The Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model Y, the Porsche Taycan, they can all charge much faster actually. But the Mach-E can charge relatively quickly at 150 kilowatts, that's pretty good. So now let's focus back to the home charging, what we're here today to talk about. Ford supplies a mobile charge cable with every Mustang Mach-E. That charger can charge the car at either 120 volts or 240 volts. There's adapters that are included with the portable charger and you simply unplug whichever, you plug in whichever one that you have an outlet for at the time and the unit will supply that current. Now, one thing to note is when you're charging on 120 volts, it's a regular household outlet, the car's gonna take a really long time to charge. Now, this is the same with all electric vehicles. Um, and Ford was kind enough to put out a table, which we're gonna show here, with the different types of charging and how long the Mustang Mach-E will take. Now, this is based on the extended range battery pack that's 98.8 .8 kilowatt hours. If you have the standard range battery pack, those numbers will be about 25% faster because the battery is about 25% smaller. So let's take a quick look at the charging speeds now. On a 120 volt household outlet, it would take 95 hours to fully recharge the battery on a Mustang Mach-E because the charge rate is only about three miles per hour. If you use the, uh, the NEMA 1450 adapter that's supplied with the mobile charger, 
that can deliver 30 amps. You cut it down to only 15 hours because you'll get about 20 miles of range per hour. Now, if you then buy the Ford Connected Charge Station, which is a 48 amp uh, permanently mounted charger, you can get about 30 miles per hour and it cuts your time to charge from 10% to 80% down to only 10 hours, little over 10 hours. Now, uh, you don't need to buy the Ford Connected Charge Station. Any electric vehicle uh, charger will work like the ones behind me. All of these will charge the Mustang Mach-E. Now, if you had a Tesla wall connector, you're going to need to have an adapter. We're going to go over that later. Um, but they all will work. So you don't need to buy Ford's uh, connected charge station. You can if you want to, of course. Uh, but you can shop around and decide to get the one that's best for you. Now, I'm adding another line in here uh, to show what the time would be if you got a third party charger that delivers 40 amps. See the Ford Connect charge station delivers 48 amps, but many of the chargers on the market today deliver only 40 amps. If you were to buy one of those, it would take about 12 hours to charge the car because you're going to get about 26 miles of range per hour. One thing that you should know is that we call these chargers, but they're really not. They're, the proper term is EVSE, Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment. The actual charger is built into every electric car. And what it does is converts the AC or alternating current electric that you get supplied from your, your house to the DC, direct current electricity, that is stored in the battery pack. So the actual charger is built inside the car. These things, including the Ford Connect home charging station, is an EVSE, and its job is basically to deliver energy to the vehicle safely. Now, we still call them chargers, really because that's what everybody understands and accepts, but we wanna make sure you understand the proper term is EVSE. If you ever see that written anywhere, you know what it is. It's a home charging station, a charger, a wall box, a wall connector, these are terms that are used in the industry. They all really just describe what an EVSE is. We have a 2021 Mustang Mach-E in the garage today, thanks to our good friend, John Volker. What I'm gonna do is plug this into a host of these charging stations that you see behind me, just to make sure there's no compatibility issues. Now, we don't expect there to be, but on occasion, when a new electric vehicle is introduced to the market, they have problems with a charger here or there. For whatever reason, there's a communication problem. We've seen this before. It used to happen a lot with electric vehicles back in the early days, you know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. It seems now that the manufacturers are onto this now and they've tested all of popular chargers before the vehicle gets released. But it doesn't always happen. We still find every now and then there's one unit that doesn't work with a certain car. So while we have the Mustang Mach-E here, we're going to plug them into these just to make sure there's no compatibility issues. Now, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch them all in real time. I'm going to do a time lapse so we go really quickly. I'm going to give a thumbs up for each one and then summarize it at the end. Okay. First one up is going to be the NLX juice box. Okay, so they all worked. As you noticed, we charged it with the NLX juice box, the Clipper Creek HCS40. Then we went to the Flow Home. We then charged it from the ChargePoint Home Flex, then the Open EVSC48, then the Grizzle E Classic. We finished up over here with the Tesla wall connector. Now you noticed I held a adapter out first before I plugged it in. The Tesla wall connector has a proprietary Tesla plug on it. You need to buy an adapter if you want to charge any car other than Tesla in order to work. These adapters cost around $20, uh, 20, around 
anywhere between $120 to $220, depending on the brand. One thing I will tell you, though, if you do get this, because let's say you own a Tesla, you already have a Tesla wall connector, now you bought a Mustang Mach-E, and you want to charge both cars with the same charger. Rather than installing another charger, you'll just share the charging. You'll need to get an adapter like that. One thing I will urge you to do is get the 80 amp version because most of these companies sell them in a 40 amp version and an 80 amp version. You wanna get the 80 amp version because the Tesla wall connector can deliver 48 amps, which is more than what the base model of, this, of these connectors can accept, which is 40 amps. So make sure you get the 80 amp version if you're going to charge a Mustang Mach-E with a Tesla wall connector. Unless you have the Tesla wall connector on the inside dialed down the power so it only delivers 40 amps then the 40 amp adapter would be fine. But most people don't dial down their Tesla wall connector unless their electrical service couldn't supply them the full 50 amps that that circuit is actually 60 amp circuit you need to deliver 48 amps. But as for today, all of the chargers worked. You could feel free to get any of these chargers. If you get the Mustang Mach-E, you can obviously also opt for the Ford Connect home charger. We haven't had a chance to review that yet, but as soon as they're available, we're gonna get one and do a full review of it. So we're gonna take a look at Ford's mobile connector for the Mustang Mach-E and compare it to what Tesla provides with every vehicle. Now, up until recently, most manufacturers just supplied a 120 volt charging cord, a level one charger that charged very slowly. They're good to use in a pinch, but they're not really adequate to charge a vehicle every day. Tesla has always provided a robust mobile connector. It delivers 32 amps to the car, and that's really enough. You don't really need to purchase Tesla's wall connector. Now, many people do, but you don't need to because charging at 32 amps, most people will have a fully charged battery overnight. Now, other manufacturers are starting to do what Tesla did. Audi provides a very good mobile cord. Porsche provides a very good mobile charger. And now Ford just came out with a very good one also. You'll notice the similarities in these two. Um, what you have here is a main unit that has an inlet where you can use different adapters. Now, it comes with both 120 volt adapter, so you can charge out of a regular household outlet if, you, if that's all that you have and you, you'll be slow charging, but it will eventually charge the car. You'll only get about three to four miles of range per hour if you're charging on 120 volts. But then they also supply an adapter where you can plug into a NEMA 1450 outlet and you can then deliver 32 amps to the car which is about 7.7 .7 kilowatts, enough to fully charge the battery overnight unless you're ex absolutely rolled in your garage on fumes and left like eight or nine hours later, then it might only be 80 or 90% charged. But in most instances, the car will be fully charged the next day. Now, I can't help but notice the similarities in this with what Tesla provides. Tesla used to provide both the 120 volt adapter and the NEMA 1450 adapter. But now, uh, about eight months ago, they stopped giving you this. And uh, they got a little tricky and now they want $35 for it. So if you get a Tesla, you need to get the NEMA 1450 adapter, which you can get from Tesla, and it costs $35 extra. You also get with Tesla this adapter so that you can use a J1772 connector like what Ford provides here with their mobile connector and charge a, uh, a Tesla. This goes in here, see that? Now you can charge a Tesla. All electric vehicles on the market today other than Tesla use this J1772 connector. Only Tesla uses their proprietary Tesla connector. So they provide an adapter with their mobile unit just in case you come across a char public charging station and you need to charge, you can pop this thing in and charge on level two. It's not for DC fast charging, it's only for level two charging. But what we really wanna talk about is the Ford, that Ford did a good job on this mobile connector. Now, if you are getting a Mustang Mach-E, thinking about getting one, you don't have to rush out and buy a permanently installed or pluggable wall charger. This will charge the car just fine. There's no need to rush out and get one. I know Ford is gonna sell a, uh, a 48 amp higher powered wall mounted unit. 
I would recommend that you use this for the first couple of months, get used to the car, get used to how it charges, and then decide if you need to go and spend the extra money and buy a higher powered wall charger. Most people are gonna find that this 32 amp mobile unit is just fine for everyday charging. One last thing I'd like to point out with the Mustang Mach-E, if you take a look inside of the charge port, you'll see there's an LED light that's a circle broken up into five segments. Each segment represents 20% charged. If the first segment is illuminated, the vehicle is somewhere between zero and 20% charged and so forth and so on. As you can see in this video, it's blinking on the fourth segment. So the vehicle is somewhere between 60 and 80% charged. Once it fully charges, the circle just lights up and stops blinking. Uh, I think that's a neat feature. The owner can quickly look if they're walking by their car and they see roughly how charged the vehicle is. Well, I hope this video was informative and help you understand a little more than you did previously about the Mustang Mach-E charging. If you like what we're doing here, please click the subscribe button. We review electric vehicles and also electric vehicle charging stations. If you know them, if you notice them all on the wall behind me here, um, we focus on in-depth reviews of EV charging stations. So if you have a Mustang Mach-E or an, any electric vehicle for that matter, and you're deciding on which charger to buy, take a look at our channel because we review most of the popular units and we're always up for a suggestion. If somebody is interested in a certain unit, leave a comment, ask us to review it, and chances are we'll do that at some point in the near future. Thanks for watching.